Charlotte arrived in the future at precisely 12.15pm. She was far too late for tea, yet she was far too early for anything else. With this in mind, she proceeded down a corridor, a very long corridor, full of overgrown memories. As each memory wept, she found herself immersed in the things that she would rather forget. Such vast amounts of salt did no one any good, but even though she tried to forget, the memories continued to weep, and before she knew it, she found her feet wet, and her stocking, her stocking soaked, and she soon found herself immersed in, a tears, in her tears and a river of her own sadness. Floating in the tears and memories of the past, she swam through every single one, determined to emerge in a much more beautiful place, much more beautiful than all this salt. When she finally did emerge and found herself on dry land, she noticed that the poppies in these parts had grown taller than any of the other buildings, providing her with the comforting thought that big and beautiful things often prevail over the most rockiest of grounds. In the distance she saw a strange black bush. The plant had come to life and started to talk to her using lipstick. Suddenly a figure emerged. It looked an awful lot like Robert Smith, which reminded her that not everything from the past should be forgotten. Some things were forever. He explained to her that there were no maps in existence, so you had to make your own and never ever use anybody else's. He also told her that there would always be witches round every single corner, ready to ruin your day. He said that weeds would always grow above the most beautiful of gardens and just spoil it for everybody. But as long as you kept a watering can full of, full of water to throw over the witches and a pen, the beautiful future could be anything that you wanted it to be.